This is Mr. Priscilla, and in this assignment we are discussing the language of sets. This was our assignment that introduces set theory, and hopefully you've uh, read about sets in your uh, book and watch Rebecca Muller's video discussing set and set notation. Basically, there's two ways to write a set. You can just list it all out, or you can write it in what's called set builder notation, where you actually describe the set. Here's an example of a list of listing the elements out, and here's an example of set builder notation, which I'll read in a moment as we do that example. But here, Use set notation to list all elements of the following set. The zodiac signs that begin with C. Well, we just want to write them out. Notice with sets, we put set braces around them. And there's not a lot of work on this one. This symbol, by the way, do you remember what it means if you listen to Rebecca and look through the book? This is the empty set. That would be a set that has nothing in it. That would be the same as this, okay? A set that has nothing. But what signs of the zodiac begin with C? Well, Cancer and Capricorn. See there. Now, number two says, okay, use an alternate method to express the following set. You see, this is the set bill, excuse me, the listing set. You're going to write a set builder notation. Set builder notation, you start off like this, the set, and then you write an X followed by either a vertical bar or a colon. They're using a colon. And you read this, the set of all x such that, let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. Well, let's see, which of these would describe it? You just write out a description. The set of all x such that x is an even natural number, less than or equal to 16. Or a natural number less than or equal to 16. How do these differ? Well, B doesn't say even. So that would be both even and odd. C just says it's a, X is an even natural number. Well, it's not the number 18, 20, 22. So it's not C. And it's not B because there's no odd. The answer here is A. This is the set of all numbers X such that x is an even natural number less than or equal to 16. Number three says, determine whether this set is well-defined. Well, what the heck does well-defined mean? Did y'all get that definition from your reading? A set is well defined if we are able to tell whether any particular object is an element of that set. So, number three. Let me find a different color pen. I'm using the same color pen. Number three. Determine whether this set is well defined. The set of all X such that X moved to Kansas. I guess it sounds like it's talking about a, uh, people. Well, if you chose any person in particular, could you decide... Did they move? Are they in this set or not? Did they move to Kansas or not? Well, yes. Either they moved to Kansas or they haven't. This set is well-defined. 
Okay? Either a person's moved to Kansas or they haven't moved to Kansas. So that's a well-defined set. A set is well-defined if we can tell whether any particular object is, in the, is an element of that set. What about this one, number four? Determine whether the set is well defined. The set of all x such that x has a nice house. Well, this set isn't really well defined because I th it depends on your definition of nice house, okay? My definition of a nice house would certainly be different from someone Defin someone's definition that lives in a third world country or uh, some billionaire's house. The Koch brothers' definition of a nice house is probably very different from my definition. It's also very different from some poor person living in a, living in a third world country. This one is not well defined because it just sort of depends on your definition of a nice house and number five, it's the, it's we, the way it comes out, it's the exact same problem, except notice there's nothing that says you must always use an X when using set builder notation. This one, they use a Y. Y has a nice house. Same thing, not well defined. Now, some... Uh, notation when working with sets. These little symbols, it looks like an E sort of, and then an E with a slash. This symbol means is an element of. So that means it is in the set. And the element symbol with a slash means is not an element of. So, number six. We're going to put one of these symbols in here. Look at the set. 6, 14, 22, 23. Is negative 14 in this set? Well, no. So, we'll say negative 14 is not an element. Now, if this had been a positive 14, then yes, positive 14 is in this set. So, positive 14 is an element. Negative 14 is not. Number 7, same type of problem. It's worded slightly different. It says replace the hashtag or pound symbol or number symbol, whatever you want to call it, with the element or not an element symbol. Five, and then this little circle with the slash is the empty set. Is five right here in this set? Well, no, there's nothing in the empty set. So this is, is not an element all. Now, next we're going to discuss the cardinality of sets. By cardinality, we mean the number of elements in the set. This says find n of a for the following set a. Ooh. Find n of a. Well, n of a means the number of elements in a, in set a. So let's see. We're trying to figure out how many elements are in this set. This is written in set builder notation. The set of all X such that X is a woman who served as U.S. President before 1950. Well, that would be, have there been any, were there, have there ever been any female presidents of the U.S.? 
Well, at this point, as of this speaking, no. As of today, this is November the 12th, 2015 right now. So, certainly before 1950, there weren't any. So how many elements are in this set? Zero. Number nine. Find the number of elements for the following set A. Set of all X such that X is a letter in the word banana. Well, let's see. Let's list that out. What are the letters in the word banana? There's a, a B, A, and N. I'm going to list them in alphabetical order. Oh, I didn't have to. How many letters are there in the word banana? Three. Now on number 10, we're told to draw a bag diagram to illustrate the following set and find its cardinal number. The cardinal number is the same as the number of elements. Okay? The cardinality refers to the number of elements in a set. Now, do you remember reading about the bag diagrams in your book? So let's pretend we have a bag. Each set, the big set, here. This is my purple bag. Can y'all tell that's purple? And now here, I have a blue bag. Oops. Containing one and two. And then I have another blue bag containing five, six, seven. The cardinal number here. How many elements are in this purple set? How many elements are in this blue, this purple bag? Well, two. It's not five. You're not just counting the number of numbers. If these set braces that I'm pointing at here hadn't been here, if you had just had this, one, two, three, no, not three, one, two, five, six, seven. If it were written like that without the set braces around the 1 and 2 and the 5, 6, 7, then you would say, yeah, there's five elements here. But here, each one of the elements is the little bag or the set. So there are two bags, one up inside this big purple bag. So the cardinal number is 2. Now we're going to look at some bar charts. I printed this out uh, on a printer that didn't uh, print color, so I hope you can see this. When you're doing it on online, it's color. So I think I'm going to zoom in a little. Let me take a break for a moment, okay?